Folks, the next 11 days are going to be absolutely huge for crypto. So you better buckle up and get ready. We are in a hot market right now heading into Bitcoin halving on April 20th. And history suggests that Bitcoin as well as altcoins tend to run both before and after halving. And so in today's video, we're going to be giving you a rundown on what's going on in the crypto market, some main names to know about heading into the next 11 days, and the top crypto to buy right now. And as always, folks, of course, if you're the one taking the risk, you got to be the one doing the ultimate frisk. Make sure to do your own due diligence on all ideas presented here on the channel. Okay, let's go ahead and start with an overview of the crypto market. So we've been talking about this since the beginning of December, but essentially Bitcoin has, of course, historically gone up before and after halving. And if Bitcoin returns what it usually does historically after it's halving, well, you can expect the coin of Bit to continue running to well over 100K. And whenever Bitcoin runs, what also runs, well, all of the altcoins that love to follow Bitcoin. A rising Bitcoin tide lifts all boats, even the small meme boats. And so far in the cycle, you've already seen innumerable breakouts. You look at Pendle, it's up 6x since January 1st. You look at AI Crypto Arc Block, it's gone from 20 cents at the start of the year to $2.84 as of today. And there's no shortage of meme coins like Pepe that are up some 12,000%. Or one of the more sophisticated ones, Dog With Hat, which has just climbed to a market cap of around $3.5 billion. But amongst these big winners, there's also been a lot of fake outs to look out for. For example, take a look at Jesus Coin. You'd think you'd be safe with Jesus Coin, but Jesus Coin ran the week before Easter and then into Good Friday and then started tanking right before Easter. And it did not rise again on Easter Sunday. Everyone knows Jesus Coin is supposed to rise again on Easter Sunday. So again, cryptocurrency market ripe with scams, ripe with fake outs. Oftentimes, trading cryptocurrencies is very similar to trading with a grenade. Eventually, that thing's going to blow up. It's my view that you should treat cryptos as guilty until proven innocent. If you have that mindset going in, you shouldn't have a problem. The people that get left holding the bag are the ones that get themselves feeling romantically involved with these projects. And as is the case with most romantic relationships, it can be fun. But please, please be aware that by the end, you're going to be out most of your money. So before we get into the top crypto today, let's talk about some of the projects that have been working and are continuing to work. When you're looking at your mega buy and hold cryptos, well, your Bitcoin is up some 55% year to date, crossing back and forth over that 70K level, will eventually build far above it. Believe me, just watch this video again in a couple of weeks, in a couple of months, and you're going to be like, oh, shite, 70K below 70K was cheap, cheapadito. ETH almost 50% up. You have some of the lower high tier cryptos like Solana, AVAX, Cardano, ADA, all doing pretty, pretty damn solid. And then you look at some of your most well-known blue chip, if you will, meme cryptos from the previous cycles, your Dogecoin, your Shiba Inu, well, they're doing very, very well but they've already got market caps that are so damn high. And so the days of them going up some thousand X times or more are basically behind them. And so while a lot of these more investment grade blue chip cryptos that are very, very well known and trusted are doing well, they're not going to be doing phenomenally insane because retail traders and spec traders know that the ones that are going to be running thousand X times in this cycle are different than the ones that ran in the last cycle. They're the ones that have a small market cap, but huge potential. And so that's when you start getting into the categories of what's working right now. And one category that is seeing a lot of attention right now is the AI space. Space. And one of the big names in that is Fetch.ai. Fetch AI claims they are crafting an accessible AI powered world where technology adapts to meet our needs, simplifying and enhancing our digital interactions. I love it when my interactions are simplified. The core concept though here is that it allows users to create intelligent, autonomous, decentralized agents like little James Bonds that are AI that can do all kinds of automated tasks on your behalf. And pretty soon they might even have a license to kill. Now, major companies like Bosch and Datarella have already employed Fetch's services while the startup recently raised 15 million for further development. And essentially, customers pay for these AI services using FET coins, which is where the currency comes in. And the thesis here is that if more and more companies start using Fetch.ai, well, that could cause more influx into the cryptocurrency and a rally rally to. And I'm a fan of Fetch.ai, and I think that's a solid thesis. However, I mean, you're dealing with a market cap that's already pretty damn high. At around $3 billion in market cap, can this go up another 10x? Sure. But another 100x or 1000x? Well, probably not. Unless it's going to take over the entire world. Which I'm sure you could find someone on YouTube saying that they will take over the world. But from a logical, practical standpoint, is that going to be happening in the next couple of years? No. So top crypto over the coming weeks? I have to say no. I think 
easily could go up another 30, 40, 50 percent in the coming weeks, maybe a couple months. But is it going to go up a ton in the next 11 plus days? No. Another big name in the space that I've been looking a lot at is Render. This Render Network thingy majiggy is a blockchain based platform that facilitates the renting out of GPU power for digital rendering purposes, which I think is kind of an interesting idea. Idearia. It operates using its native cryptocurrency called Render Token RNDR. Their system connects users with spare GPU computing power to those in need of such resources for tasks like digital rendering, which includes video processing, gaming, NFT creation, or metaverse building. I hear they also work with some of those adult games with the little cartoons. Oh, we don't need to go into that though. I just heard that from a friend. The network offers scalability, privacy, security, and fair pricing, as well as a transparent system thanks to blockchain technology. The Render Network leverages a multi-tier pricing protocol and a reputation-based system to assign rendering jobs. Now, the benefit of this render network is simple. It provides on-demand, scalable GPU power. So there's actually real-world utility to this. And this RNDR token facilitates transactions within the network, serving as the medium of exchange for rendering services. So if you do your due diligence on this and you're like, okay, I could see why a lot of companies might use this, and you can see the companies that are already using this, the individuals that are already using this, then it's easy to make a thesis that says, okay, okay, well, I can see why it's going to go up. Of course, right now it's gone up because we're in a market where everybody is buying up anything AI related. But at the same time, at least when you're looking at this, you got some real world uses here. By decentralizing GPU power and making it more accessible as Sassiste, well, Render enables more creators to produce high quality digital content more efficiently and at a lower cost compared to traditional centralized rendering services. At least that's the claim here. So again, the argument here is, okay, well, if more and more people are utilizing Render, the token should explode, right? and it's been trending up on that very thesis. And it certainly is one of the more exciting projects that I researched in order to make this video. And I do like it a lot, but still with a market cap of around 5 billion bucks, it's unlikely you're going to get a 10x, let alone a 100x anytime soon. And that's when we're talking about a top crypto for right now. It just can't be one. Is it a buy? Would it be a great accumulation at a massive dip? Absolutely. But, but is it a top crypto heading into the next couple of weeks? I'd have to say nah, neat, nine. And then there's other projects that obviously have more meme value. Something like a cock Inu, which is up some 783% this year. Although I got to tell you, it has been trading a bit softer as of late. So anyways, with all this, that leads us to the next question. If you're looking for the top cryptocurrency right now, you have to ask yourself, what is a cryptocurrency that is small enough to be able to have exponentially large rallies while also relevant enough to be able to catalyze the start of one of those rallies and still be early-ish in the process. Well, in order to find that, I needed to go through a lot of different tickers and find something that doesn't have a lot of baggage attached to it. And I mean, a lot of them have a lot of baggage. Let me tell you. I needed to find one that didn't have a greedy company holding a ton of tokens, no ability for endless dilution. I didn't want it to have an overly salesy story that it's just building hype on. Now, honestly, I went down a long rabbit hole with this and I looked into like all the dog with hat, dog with hood, dog with cat, small cat in dog world, all that kind of stuff. And I was thinking, you know what, as a pattern play, because you had Dogecoin and then Shiba and then a million other things follow in the last couple of cycles, I thought, hey, you know what, I can make a pretty good pattern argument for one of those. And honestly, if you want, I'll make a meme coin video in the future, the top three meme coins, top five meme coins, whatever you want. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want clear pattern plays that are just speculative based on human nature. I honestly think if you look at these dog with hat little competitors, some of those are going to turn into Dogecoin's Shiba Inu coin, and they're going to run huge. But anyways, the crypto I want to bring to your attention today is Pendle. So Pendle wasn't a perfect fit for my criteria list, to be honest, but its momentum is some of the strongest out there, and I'd argue it's arguably one of the best dip buys if it heads towards a little bit of a dip heading into Bitcoin halving. I believe it's going to very, very closely follow and accelerate the trend of Bitcoin and especially Ethereum. Look, I know this has been out and popular for a while now, and I'm late to the game, but take a moment to familiarize yourself with this if you haven't already. Pendle is a DeFi protocol that focuses focuses on yield tokenization and trading on the Ethereum blockchain. Yield tokenization allows users to split yield-bearing assets into separate yield and principal components for more nuanced control and flexibility in managing their investments. Pendle's automated market maker is designed specifically for yield trading, with features such as concentrated liquidity, dual fee structures, and minimal concerns about impermanent losses. And of course, the native utility token for this is Pendle, which plays a crucial role in liquidity provision, staking rewards, governance, participation, 
participation and transaction fee payments within the ecosystem. So again, overall, if you got lost with what I just said, fine. The overall thesis here is that if this technology, if this service, if their infrastructure is useful to the general populace, well, all of a sudden what happens? Well, that little Pendle token goes up and up and up and up. Right now, it's built on hype. When the hype drains out in the next crypto winter, sure, it's going to dive like a dog. Woof, woof, woof. And not like the dog coins that go up, unfortunately, although they'll dive too. But the point is bigger picture. If you're looking at this, you have something that has real world use, is very popular as of right now and proof of concept wise, and also has momentum and has a clear reason to continue rallying as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and overall crypto markets continue to see an influx of liquidity and trading in the coming weeks and months. The secret though with playing Pendle as with dog with hat and a number of other cryptos is that you got to make sure that you go into it with a clear and realistic plan. One that says, hey, these can run really, really fast, but at the end of the day, there's going to be a winter cycle. People are going to lose money. I don't want to be one of them. So tight, tight risk management. Something goes down 5, 10, 15, 20% depending on your risk tolerance. That's when I start taking profits off the table. If something goes up a thousand percent tomorrow and then you just simply buy and hold it. You get married. You have 15 kids with it. Well, guess what? That's going to be a nasty divorce because a week later, that shite's going down. So make sure you have a clear plan before you trade any cryptocurrency. Anyways, that caps off today's video. Make sure to hit that ravishing like button and subscribe if you found value in it. Let us know what your favorite crypto is in the comment section down below. We love hearing from you. And full disclosure, I'm not a part of any of these crypto projects. I'm just giving you my unbiased opinion on them. Hopefully it was helpful. Have a good one, folks, and we'll see you in the next video.